G'day, this is Peter, back with another episode of The Property Club, and today we're looking at two-bedroom condominiums in BGC, Bonifacio Global City. So, used to be known as Fort Bonifacio, now known as BGC, Bonifacio Global City, and we're going to find the best two-bedroom condominiums on the market today. So, I've gone through, I've spent about four or five hours finding the very, very best two bedroom condominiums available on the market today. So check this out. Okay, now let's begin. I'm gonna try and rush through this one a bit quicker because we've you know, been doing a bit longer videos and uh, just wanna shorten the time. The first condominium is this one, Fort Victoria two bedroom loft type unit in Fort Bonifacio. And it's 43 square meter loft. Let's take a look at the pictures and it's priced at 8.5 million so this is the cheapest condominium on the market today that's a two bedroom actually there were quite a few examples of two bedroom lofts in this building um, that were you know just a bare shell um, but there were you know they're not complete so I wanted to show you something that was complete and this was the cheapest you know furnished um, you know condominium something that's done so you just walk in turn key uh, there are some cheaper units in this building have a look at my most recent video on BGC for foreclosures and there are some foreclosed bare shells that actually come cheaper than this particular unit here but completed this is the cheapest unit available that I could find Moving along, and I was quite surprised with this one. This is a two bedroom in the Cebu Tower, and it's priced at 9 million peso for 76 square meters. So, 9 million divided by 76 square meters equals 118,000 peso per square meter. So, very, very good value. And that's the building there, the Cebu. have to be careful that I don't hit that X button because we've got a lot of listings here and uh, it's kind of like a minefield. Anyway, the next one is 10 million peso. I thought I had a cheaper one. Let me just double confirm here. No, nope, 10 million is the next price. Yep, 10 million peso for this one in McKinley Hill, Fort Bonifacio. It's the Florence Tower. And this is the building here. And actually the photos just show a lot of floor plans so I just wanted to show you that. It is, let's see the square meterage rate, it does say 70, 60 to 79, this one was priced at 10 which means this will be 60 square meters at 10 million peso. So 10 million peso divided by 60 square meters equals 166,000 peso per square meter. The next one, this two bedroom loft with parking is two, is uh, 10 million, I almost said 2 million, I wish it was 2 million. And it does come with parking and it's 70 square meters. So 10 million divided by 70 square meters is 142,000 peso per square meter. And it's located in the McKinley Park residences. Let's have a good look at this one. This is a really nice location in the middle of BGC with a view. Check that view. Loft type 2. And yes, that is the actual view for 10 milli. So 10 million is around about just under 200,000 US dollars. Not bad for BGC at all. Okay, so that's the unit in McKinley Park Residences. The 
The next one says it's in Uptown Ritz. I'm a little bit suspicious of this listing. It says it was posted, you know, 30 plus days ago. If it's really old, it'll say, you know, something like one year plus. So look, maybe it is legit, maybe it's not. You'd have to inquire about it. I found it on Trovit and it says it's Veganit, veganitantrade.com. So you'll find the listing there too. And the price is 10.2 divided by 80 square meters. It's 127,000 peso per square meter, which actually is really, really good value for this particular building in Uptown Ritz. So look, I'm a little bit suspicious of this listing. So you'd have to double check this one. Moving along, two bedroom for 10.3 BGC and it's in the Avita 9th Avenue Tower 10.3 it's 58 square meters the developer price is 15 million so they're saying you're getting a 4.7 million discount from the developers price and they have this wonderful photo here isn't it great it's a recent listing posted 24 days ago you know be great if you'd had a decent photo to sell the unit And the next one I found on Facebook. Actually, I didn't find too much on Facebook because what I'm finding is brokers are tagging BGC because a lot of people are searching for BGC and there was a lot of spam. I'm trawling through just nonsense uh, it seemed to be on Facebook. Sometimes Facebook is hit and miss when searching for property. Next one is the Fort Palm Spring BGC condo which is in the center CBD of BGC. It's a good location. It's priced at 11 million, which is actually very fair for this unit, which is 85 square meters. Um, and what's great about this is we have some pictures. The only downside is no parking, guys. So it's an older style unit internally. It looks like it might be a corner unit. So yeah, impressed by this one. Mm, very nice, very nice. It is a corner unit. Okay, so thus far, this is by far my pick. So it's priced at only 11 million peso for a two betty in the center of BGC. It's in the Fort Palm Spring building. So 11 million divided by 85 square meters is only 129,000 peso per square meter. I think to be fair for this one, you wouldn't want to ne negotiate too high, uh, hard. Sorry, it's already um, you know a very reasonable price, uh, probably the best in the building. So maybe you ask for a 10 or 12 percent discount. So high nines, you know 9.75, 9.8. This is an absolute bargain, especially being a corner unit and a wonderful location close to all the BPOs and offices. Okay, so this is in the Kensington Place. It's a two bedroom and it is 68.9 square meters with no parking. You need to add 1 million peso if you want parking. And this is a unit, not bad looking. I think I prefer the one just prior. I think you're gonna have to negotiate on this one a little bit harder. So maybe you could ask for it to include parking around the high nines might be worthwhile. That's the unit. Next unit, another two bedroom in Fort Palm Spring. It only has a picture of the building. And actually I have a feeling it is the exact same listing. It says 85 square meters. So I'm, I'm assuming it is the same listing why would you call this one <laughs> when you can get where is it this one at 11 and they want 11.5 so I'd rather start here and negotiate down from 11 rather than 11.5 okay so the Montaigne BGC this is a brand new condominium guys 
this is a bargain this is a good deal the Montaigne and it is only 55 square meters it's not a great big unit it's 11.8 it is a brand new unit though so 55.69 square meters so they are asking a pretty penny per square meter but it is new to be fair so they're asking 211,000 peso per square meter so yeah you have to work on this one and you'd want to knock down the price substantially it is very close to uptown and the grand hyatt bgc and they're saying the current market value of this building for this similar unit is 15.4 uh, including transfer transfer so what they're saying is this resale they probably bought at early stages stage one or stage two or something like that and they got a really good deal and they wait for more you know the, the condominium to be finished uh, the Avita Towers, the Montaigne, okay? And what's happened is now the developer might be at stage three or four, uh, they're at the final stages, and every year they artificially increase the prices. So if you were to buy from the developer direct, you might very well have to pay 15 plus million versus, you know, they're only asking 11.8 million. Maybe you can get this as low as 10 million depending on when the owner bought it and if they can complete because if this is a building that's just being finished maybe what happened is you know they've put down a deposit on this building on this condominium uh, but they can't complete maybe you know they still have to come up with uh, you know six seven eight nine who knows million peso and they can't complete so instead of completing they're trying to sell it and flip it before it's finished before it's turned over and you might find that they're very desperate and you could get something like this for 10 million highly likely and there's a lot of people that do that because they buy the unit thinking it'll increase they buy it at stage one even some of the agents do this they buy the unit for six or seven and then try and flip it uh, for 10 or 11 just before completion so they don't have to complete and yeah it does upset me because there's a lot of speculation in the market and that's what's inflating a lot of the prices in BGC and Makati this is just the fact of life guys not much we can do about it anyway this building is a two bedroom in Fifth Avenue Place. It's priced at 12 million peso. It's a decent size. We're talking 73.6 square meters, so 12 million. So the asking price divided by 73.6 is 163,000 peso per square meter. This is the unit internally. And I just need to grab some water quickly. Have a look at that picture. Nice window. I hope they show the view. Yep. Okay. Look. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't buy it. I just... I have a thing with cemeteries. And it can be hard to sell. Um, so, you know, who's going to buy a unit overlooking the cemetery? Um, yeah, you'd want to get an extremely low price on this one. Actually, it's amazing the amount of units that do overlook the cemeteries in the Philippines. But yeah, in you know my home country, it's a big no-no and it is very unlucky. So that's Fifth Avenue for 12 million. I don't know. I'd really want to offer something like 8 million, knowing that it overlooked the cemetery. And you notice in the photo, one of the first photo, uh, they try not to show the cemetery. So maybe they get you out there, hey, it's a really good deal, it's a really good price. You get there and it's like, oh, cemetery. Okay, so this one is 12 million and it's 65 square meters. It is a two bedroom. Remember guys, two bedrooms are priced. The price per square meter is usually a lot higher than one bedrooms. From memory, I did find a foreclosure in this building around I think mid sixes, maybe seven million, something like that. That's in my latest video, which is BGC foreclosures. Have a look, it's probably 10 or 12 videos back. And literally you can find a one bedroom, it's around about mid sixes, maybe seven million for a one bedroom. And I think it's maybe 48 square meters, 50 square meters. So I think that's better value than this. 
but ultimately it's only a one bedroom and it's really difficult to find well priced property two bedrooms in the marketplace because they are the most sought after obviously families people with kids um, you know are looking to purchase a two bedroom over a one bedroom so these two bedrooms sell for more and they sell for a higher price per square meter having said that though <laughs> I just saw the second picture and this is a loft type okay which makes it it actually more valuable if there's airspace so to be fair it's still a decent condominium um, having said that still have a look at my old video at the one I think it's mid sixes or something for a one Betty not a bad unit there it's a foreclosure especially if you're looking for a one Betty and not a two Betty worth checking that out guys so yeah that's 12 million oh I think I closed that <laughs> and this is what I mean it's like a minefield like there's so many listings here and I'm trying to organize it all and yeah anyway moving along this is a two bedroom in McKinley Park residences priced at 12 mil it's 66 square meters so it's almost 200 square meters I think it's around about 190 without doing the math this is the unit it's a loft type and it's a nice looking unit remember with the airspace um, you lose square meters so you you get airspace so you know a 60 square meter unit might be as big as a 70 square meter unit so you do pay a little bit more price per square meter for lofts over flats so flat type condominiums yeah it's a nice unit and a lovely view fantastic view you can actually see the Hyatt awesome for 12 mil actually that's not bad in McKinley Park residences the next one and again I think one of the very first units I showed you was a two bedroom condominium in the Cebu Tower here's another one here's the next price up 70, 79 square meters for a two bed 12.3 million so this is 12.3 divided by 79 square meters is 155,000 peso per square meter whereas this one for 9 million and it was how many square meters I don't know that it tells me it does 76 square meters so the buy is this one this is the best valued Cebu Tower <clears throat> versus this one which is 12.3 mm, I think I'd be buying the other one that's for sure at 9 million that was the cheapest unit I found uh, in the C Cebu in a long time actually for a two Betty that's an absolute steal moving forward this is the Trion Towers which is a fairly new building and it's a good location again nice location very close to the center and as you can see here it says it's right across the road from Aya residences if you're familiar with Aya, Aya is a very expensive um, high-end uh, five-star condominium building in BGC and it's across the road from that building and it's only 200 meters away from SM Aura so it says this unit will be handed over second quarter of 2020 most likely like I was saying with that other unit um, someone's probably bought this for eight or nine million and they're trying to do a flip before they have to settle it and make some quick cash and look you can still profit from that person because if you can screw them down to something like 10 million and you know ultimately they paid nine eight and a half nine yes they might have made one um, but ultimately the, the developer might be selling these at 14 or 15 million so if you can get something like this for 10 it's definitely good value it's a brand new unit two bed two bath 62 square meter and look at that view awesome and the benefit is that you don't have to buy off the plan because sometimes when you buy off the plan you don't get what you hope for it might be 
totally different than what you expected and this way you get to actually touch feel physically see the condominium before purchasing nice pull actually I like this one I really do um, this is this is another one of my favorites so let's just do the math let's say if you could get this down to 10 mil I think it's possible in this market absolutely you know you made an offer for 10 mil and you could purchase this for 10 mil divided by 62.77 square meters 159,000 peso per square meter I think that's very very good buying so just over 3,000 US dollars per square meter the next is Fort Residence two bedroom it's 79 square meters so it is a good size Notice actually it doesn't say that it has parking. Um, one of the things in BGC that just kills me is very, very un few units have parking. So very few units have parking slots. And the ones that do are always saying, hey, here's the price, add another one, 1 1.5 million, and you can have the park too. And if you don't, they'll just sell it separately. It's, it's kind of frustrating. Um, but look, that's just how it works in BGC. And look, honestly, if you're buying one of these units, you do want to buy the park as well. Even if you have to spend one or 1.2 million, it's worth it, absolutely. And square meterage on this was 79, so not bad. So 13 mil divided by 79 is 164,000 peso per square meter so you might be able to get this as low as maybe 145,000 peso per square meter trying to move along as quick as I can 14 million okay this fairways tower I like this one actually I think I've got another fairways tower in the list I might have closed it but I think I used this one instead because it had pictures and the other one didn't 75 square meters in fairways nice building fairways and obviously a lot of the units do overlook the fairways okay so in front of the golf course you have this path this is a little bit of a walking walking track and it walks in front of you you can walk in front of the uh, the golf course there so a lot of the units do overlook the golf course some do some don't I'm assuming this does not yeah, you're better off buying one that can actually overlook the golf course. But at the end of the day, uh, you might prefer the view overlooking the city, the city skyline of BGC, still good. It does have one car park, so actually this is decent. And they are saying they are negotiable for cash, direct buyers only, please. Cash is king. So this next one is really, really good. It's a three bedroom in the Pen Penhurst Park Place BGC. It is 109 square meters with one park. So I think definitely if you included the park and said, look, this is about you know 122 square meters, including parking, you know, the asking price alone, including parking, is only 114,000 peso per square meter. So tonight this has been the very best price per square meter. Okay, so actually that's a decent unit. The next half of this video comes with a warning and I'm gonna move through it quickly, but prices really do start to rise from here. So it's just a warning. You do wanna to watch to the end because the last few units that I will show you, you know, just gives you a really a good reality check as to what you know how expensive some of the two bedroom condos in BGC can get obviously every building is different and the price per square meter of every single building in BGC is different okay um, but some of the more luxurious five-star buildings really get up there and yeah you'll, you'll be surprised the numbers that they're achieving also um, some really nice photos of these two bedroom condominiums you'll, you'll be surprised there's some really really nice units moving along blue sapphire I always admired this building I didn't mind this building at all two bedroom 90 square meters with a one car slot so you know roughly around about hundred and forty thousand peso per square meter so this is really actually quite good. This is another good value one. 
and I think after this one we go to the crazy level. Oh no, not yet. Um, the two bedroom condominium, the Avant at the Fort. And look at that guys. Two bedroom, 83 square meter, 14.5. I like the windows. Look at those windows, that full glass, you know, to uh, from floor to ceiling with high ceilings. And it overlooks the golf course. Beautiful unit and Avant. I've always liked the Avant building right in front of the golf course. And it comes with one park. So this is actually a decent unit. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Rush. Central Park West. Two bedroom condo with parking, 77 square meters for 16.9. They wanted 20 for this. It's down to 16.9. In my opinion, it's still too expensive. However, it is a very new building in a great area near the uh, Big Apple, uh, the new Hyatt Manila, um, uptown. So, you know, this is well sought after. Central Park West. Okay, so the next is a two-bedroom condominium in Tagig. Sorry, BGC, I should say. Um, just reading the heading there. But Lagio 1, 2 Betty for 21. And this is what I'm saying. The prices start to get a bit crazy. 21 million for that. Honestly, it's only 95 square meters. You know, the price is well and truly over 200,000 peso per square meter. Moving along. So this is literally one of the cheapest units I could find. Two bedroom units in two surrender. Surrendra, I should say which is near Market Market. And you've got one Surendra and two Surendra. And this is 21.5 for a bare unit. Well, it comes with a TV. I think they spent all the money on <laughs> the unit. They didn't have any left for furniture. And that's the balcony. Honestly, I've always felt that this building is overpriced. Uh, but for some reason, people pay big money for it. I don't know why. So again, it's well over 200,000 peso per square meter, being only 85 square meters. To be fair, this is one of the most affordable units in the building, and it is a corner unit. Okay, so another one, 25 million in the surrender again, 88 square meters with parking. Just going to show you the pictures quickly. 25 million, too rich for my blood, that's for sure. But it gives you a bit of a reality check as to how expensive two bedroom units get. And at the end of the day, um, there's more demand for two unit, uh, two bedroom units than there is one bedroom. And sorry guys, I'm trying to rush as quickly as I can tonight. So the next is the Arya residence, which, is I, which I did actually mention earlier. It is a very, very nice building. Very expensive though. 126 square meters, 31 million. Again, the cheapest two bedroom unit in Aya. And that's the unit. Looks like it's never been lived in. Possibly uh, someone's just bought it to flip. And that's it. Moving along. Okay, now we get to the good stuff. So this is a two bedroom, the cheapest two bedroom in the Grand Hyatt Manila residences. Honestly, yes, it's got a great name, don't get me wrong. Um, but like looking at this for 33 million peso, look, this is the cheapest unit to be fair, but I don't see what the big deal is. Yes, it's got high ceilings, yes, it's nice, but so do other condominiums. And I would have thought for you know Hyatt to put its name on it, it would have been a little bit nicer than this. I mean, Hyatt, Ritz-Carlton, uh, the big hotel chains like this, I, I would have expected a higher standard than this, to be honest. Okay, 33 million, I think, not really worth it. Um, yeah, you pay for the name at the end of the day. 104 square meters, ultimately you're paying 300,000 peso per square meter. Moving along. The Seasons, so the Haru Tower BGC, the Seasons, it's even more expensive price per square meter. Um, it's 31.4 million, and it's Japanese style, the Haru in the Seasons. And at 31.432, that's 
they want, and I'll tell you exactly, 353,000 peso per square meter for the seasons. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, so the next units I'm going to show you start to get exciting. Just, just wait for it, wait for it. Okay, so here is another Grand Hyatt. Hyatt. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of examples. This is a nicer unit, but it's also, you know, the price jumps up from 33 to 40 million in the Grand Hyatt. Look, nice looking unit, big balcony. You know, it's got the name. You live in a five-star hotel, don't get me wrong. It's totally awesome. But if you got money, this is where you live. This is the number one, guys. Yep, Shangri-La. And this is what I've been saying, guys. Honestly, my argument is Shangri-La beats everything. It beats Hyatt. It beats the Ayala developments. It beats absolutely everything. The best condominiums, the most prestigious luxury condominiums on the market today in Metro Manila, Shangri-La. Buy it. Okay, if you can get a decent price, buy it. Obviously, this is not a decent price. It is insane. It's a hundred million peso, and guess what? This is the cheapest unit in the building. So it's over 400,000 peso per square meter, but you can see why. Look at this. Unreal. Now that's a condominium. I've never seen a design like that. You've got the balcony and you've got that that seat. So you sit, it, it kind of be a bit freaky. You sit and you've got the um, <laughs> that view behind you. So you're not actually looking at the view. Be a little bit scary. I'd probably want to sit, you know, sidewards and look at the view and eat my meal at the same time. Uh, but very cool. I do like the design. Imagine if you fell through there though. <laughs> not good. Huge bedrooms, huge. And they look so nice. And again, you can see the window, that full glass, you know, floor to ceiling, just one panel of glass. And it's got a love seat there. I love the love seats, they're awesome. Actually, I've got a Shangri La unit, only a small one in Ortigas. And yeah, mine's only 47 square meters, and I do have a love seat very similar to this. This is actually nicer than mine. Mine sits a bit too high. I wish they'd made it a bit lower, whereas this is lower, so you can put your feet on the ground as well, which is quite nice. Unreal. And this is the cheapest, the cheapest unit in Shangri-La Fort. I think they call it the Fort Shangri-La. Okay, and the last one, even nicer for 130 square meters, is this one. And it is 283 square meters. I think the photos look pretty similar. But anyway, let's have another look. Awesome. Now that's a condominium. Penthouse living. Look at that kitchen. <laughs> that's unreal. That's really, really cool. Actually, that's at the end of the kitchen. Look at that. That's at the end of the kitchen there. Very, very cool. Yep, well, you know, maybe one day if I get famous on YouTube, I can afford it. But somehow I highly doubt it. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. This has been Peter from The Property Club. Really appreciate your support. Please do share, like and subscribe and hit the like button. That's apparently really important that you hit the like button because then it recommends it to other people. Thanks a lot guys, double thumbs up. Have a great night, bye for now.